Okay, look, I'm gonna be honest in this one. Gear matters. And if you're wondering how you can get shots like this on a budget, I'm gonna show you that in today's video. Before I show you guys what lens I'm actually talking about in today's video, cinematic is a pretty overused term at this point, and I think its definition is pretty diluted. But in a nutshell, let's say it's replicating the high-end, big-budget look that you would see in films. And if there's one lens that can do that on a budget, it's this one. This is a 75mm f1.2 APS-C lens from Viltrox and take a look at how cinematic these shots look. Before I get to one of the absolute most important factors about this lens, let's look at a few of its other key features. Starting with the fact that it goes down to a ridiculous F 1.2. So if you guys are looking for shallow depth of field, which is something that's often referred to when talking about the cinematic look, f1.2 on this lens you can't really get any faster or shallower than that because this lens is more zoomed in being 75 millimeters or around 112 millimeters on a full frame equivalent it also creates a lot more compression which is going to help with that really shallow depth of field the one thing i do notice about this lens is often while i'm filming I feel like I'm a bit close and I struggle to get far enough away to get everything in the frame that I do want. 112 millimeters is quite zoomed in and I don't think that this is going to be a very good lens if it's your only lens. I think this is a lens that you would pair with some other lenses. It's more of a specialized lens to shoot things that are close up and more detailed shots that you guys want to show. Little things that you want to emphasize or really put some like focus onto. For example, out here in the forest, if I want to get some shots of someone walking down or walking around, I think it's going to be hard to show the full picture or have any style of establishing shots that the viewer can really get a good idea of what this place is like. Now, I labeled this lens as budget and it comes in around just over 500 bucks and by no means is that a little bit of money. But the reason why I'm calling this a budget lens is because the amount of lens that you're getting for only a little bit over 500 bucks is really, really a good deal. And the fact that you compare this with one of your cameras from an A6000 series, maybe you are on the A6300 and this lens, that's gonna be a pretty fair priced setup and you're gonna be getting amazing quality pro looking footage for that. So this lens has a really nice weight and feel to it. Nothing about it would say budget. It even has a manual aperture ring that you can select your aperture right here with a D click switch if you want it to be nice and smooth. It has a nice focus ring that's really, really smooth. Satisfying to turn. Some of the other key features are it is weather sealed with this nice red gasket around the back there so you can shoot some crazy environments and not have to worry too much about it. You know what else makes your videos look pro? Having really nice audio to pair with your visuals. This video is sponsored by Epidemic Sound and they have a crazy new feature called Sound Match where basically you can drop one of your videos into Epidemic Sound and using AI it analyzes your frames and perfectly matches audio tracks to the visuals that you've put in. So no longer do you have to spend hours and hours trying to find the perfect song for those visuals. You can literally put it in, let Epidemic do all of the work and it's gonna give you a whole bunch of selected tracks to fit those visuals perfectly. Just see which ones you like and drop it in. This saves so much time trying to find the perfect music for your specific videos and it's something that is a complete game changer when it comes to actually selecting tracks that are gonna fit the videos you have in mind really, really well because it's a hard thing to do. So if you guys wanna find out more, head on over to Epidemic Sound. They're gonna be linked in the top of the description and sign up for a 30-day free trial. You can try this for yourself nothing to lose. So that really big thing that I was going to mention, it's the autofocus because that's a make or break when it comes to lenses like this. And this one completely surprised me. The autofocus on here is amazing. So you can see even if I want to get a shot like this where Ellie is down there in the distance, 
one of the hardest things that you can do for your lens is to give it a scenario where the focus has to track your subject moving to or away from you. So you can see, even with Ellie walking towards me right here, if I lock the focus on her, it stays perfectly in focus the whole time. Really, really smooth. Nothing's changing. The focus locked on the entire time. You can also see in a scenario like this, where I have Ellie in focus, I can focus onto the background, super nice and smooth, straight back onto Ellie. It's so quick and responsive. There's zero hunting. It just goes like instant focus on the background, instant focus on your subject. So yeah, like I said, all in all, I think this lens is going to be amazing if you're pairing it with another lens, being able to get something with the pro features that this lens has at just over 500 bucks is really amazing. And the autofocus, is something that I was worried about on this and it completely surprised me and it's amazing. So if you're looking for a really nice cinematic APS-C style lens without killing your bank account, check this out. It's gonna be linked in the top of the description. Also, if you guys wanna find out anything more about Epidemic Sound, they are gonna be linked in the top of the description and they have a 30 day free trial if you guys wanna go and see how it works. So check it out. Other than that, I hope you guys enjoyed this one. Have fun. Bye.